Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jackie and today I'm here to do my July book haul. So in the month of July, I tried to restrict myself as much as I could as far as my book buying because my TBR is getting a little out of hand and I really need to cut down on the amount of books I'm buying. So I tried to do as much as I could this month. However, I still ended up buying seven books. So, <laughs> but most of these I actually got for my birthday. So kind of have an excuse on that point. But I'm so excited to show you guys all of these books and let's just jump right in and get started. So the first three books all kind of have a theme and you'll see why that is in a second. So the first two books I have are hardcover versions of Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban and then the Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. And I will have paperback versions of both of these books but I wanted hardcover versions because I kind of want to own all the books both in paperback and hardcover kind of just I just kind of want to collect as many editions of Harry Potter as I can. So, starting off with hardcovers and paperbacks and moving on to future editions in the future. We'll see. But my mom got these at a local used bookstore. They were for a good price, so she figured why not. And I absolutely love them. So, that's the first two. And the, speaking of Harry Potter, this past June was the 20 year anniversary of Harry Potter, which is crazy. <laughs> that's as old as me. I turned 20 back in the beginning of July. So, wow. And in, or, in celebration of that, they released the first book, uh, so, uh, Sorcerer's Stone or The Philosopher's Stone, depending on where you live, uh, in the special, like, kind of house edition. So I got mine for my birthday, and that is this one. So I'm a Slytherin, so I obviously got them in Slytherin colors. And I do want to collect the other editions in the other house colors, um, but if I can find them somewhere, maybe on Book Outlet or depository has a sale in the future maybe I'll get the other editions as well but this is what the Slytherin looks one looks like for now so on the front cover they have obviously the title of the book and they have the house crest so this is a Slytherin house crest if you guys can see then on the spine they have the silver and gr uh, silver and green colors for Slytherin house and then on the back they have Salazar Slytherin so inside they also have some other fun little additions that they added to celebrate this momentous occasion. So they all added some information about your house, so kind of about the founder of the house and all that kind of good stuff and at the beginning of the book and then at the end of the book they have like a little trivia quiz and they also have some like notable people that were in Slytherin House, so like Draco Malfoy, Voldemort, Bellatrix so Strange, just to name a few. So. I was so excited to pick this up and I just, I'm just absolutely in love with it. <laughs> so the next book I got, I got at the same local used bookstore that I got my Harry Potter editions in, and that book was called, and this is one I've seen going around booktube for a while now, it's called The School for Good and Evil by Shimon Chanini. I am so sorry if I said that wrong, but can we just talk about this cover guys? Like it's so pretty, I absolutely love it. So this is a middle grade fantasy series. I think it's a trilogy and it follows two friends who go to this magic school um, and you are either sorted into the house for good or the house for evil or school I should say um, and it kind of goes on for there so one of them ends up in the school for good when she thinks she should be in the school for evil the other one ends up in the school evil when she thinks she could be in the uh, house for good so that's kind of what that story is about and I am really excited to dive in and I just like I said, I love this cover. This is not a cover buy because I had been hearing so much about it. But if I hadn't heard so much about it, I would probably have picked up anyways. The next one I've already shown in quite a few videos this month, but I haven't hauled it yet. And that is The Clear Wings and Ruin by Sarah J. Mass. This is book three in the Akatar trilogy or series. Tell me if I'm wrong on that. Um, but I read the first book, A Court of Thorns and Roses, back in April. I read Akamoth, which is a Court of Miss Period last month. And this is the third book that just came out at the end of May, I believe. And I know a lot of people either, you either love this book or you don't like it at all. I know there's a lot of controversial things put in it, but I really still want to go into it with an open mind, but I still want to enjoy the story as it ends. So really excited to pick this up. Hopefully I'll pick it up by the end of the month, but who knows. The next book I have is a book I got sent to for review by the author, so thank you so much to this author for sending me this, and this is called The Dark Net, and this is by Benjamin Percy. So this is a young adult uh, science fiction dystopian novel 
that follows four main characters and they are kind of all bounty hunters and they are set up and in, put into a team and then they are sent into like an arena to kind of battle it out. So that there's a couple things on why I immediately said yes when I got request a request for review for this book. Number one is of course the premise. But number two is the author is actually the writer for Teen Titans. So Teen Titans was a huge part of my life growing up. I loved that show when I was younger. I still love it to this day. I still have some box sets of the DVDs. I don't watch Teen Titans Go, but I still love the original Teen Titans. So I was really excited to pick this up. And the last book I have to show you guys today isn't really a book, but I've been doing stuff like this for past probably three months. And that book is called The Riverside guide to writing this is by Douglas Hunt so this is like it says in the title just a guide to writing if you guys have been following my channel for a while I mentioned a couple more a couple of videos recently I am writing a book I'm very beginning process of it and I'm always looking for a writing guide so of course I had to pick this up because I'm like I said I'm always looking for writing guides to improve my writing that's everything I have for this video guys I hope you guys enjoyed if you did please give a big thumbs up and hit subscribe if you have not already I'll be sure to have all my social media links linked down below if you guys would like to check me out on Twitter Instagram Goodreads or my blog they are all linked down below as always also I want to say I will be vlogging this entire week for book two -a I have a vlog from yesterday which was Sunday going up shortly after this video goes up so be on the lookout for that as well as future vlogs this entire week and I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day I will see you soon for a new video thanks for watching bye bye